air defense weapon. Their training here at the world's largest air defense training center is the most intensive ever given to the modern Army missile men and automatic weapons specialists. Missile technicians are trained in courses ranging from one week to 40 weeks in length. Men must be taught to assemble, install, calibrate, adjust, and maintain intricate electronic components. Missile fueling, operation of hydraulic systems, radar operation, and complex control systems are typical of the subject matter that must be mastered by the missile men of today. After weeks of training are completed, the ultimate test of the trainee's newly acquired skills is a live firing of his weapon against the target. This is the Army Variable Speed Fire B Jet Target. It is a sophisticated, versatile target system which gives the Army maximum challenge to its weapons and training because of its realism. The Fire Bee deploys its tow bee, which is towed behind Fire Bee on a wire cable. Use of this small, expendable radar reflector equipped target saves the Fire Bee for repeated use. This is the moment. Missile away. successful intercept proves weeks of tough training. The fire bee deploys a short tow target with a butane burning infrared source for presentation to the red eye gunners. This is red eye. It is a shoulder launched infrared seeking missile, latest of the Army's hard hitting air defense weapons. Modern Army training methods bring these personnel to the highest state of readiness. A future member of the Army's family of air defense artillery weapons will be Chaparral, an infrared homing missile for defense against low-flying aircraft. Fire Bee changes its role. As a versatile target, it is now equipped with a banner for target presentations against automatic weapons and countering high-speed, low-altitude air attack. The hard-hitting firepower of these twin 40-millimeter guns provides defense against medium and low-flying aircraft. Its five-man crew work in unison to smash targets on the ground and in the air. The M55, quadruple mounted, 50 caliber guns, fire at the Fire Bee banner tow. This weapon is firing 3,000 rounds per minute. It is the Army's 20 millimeter Vulcan gun. highly mobile weapon provides devastating fire against enemy air attacks. In order to support the vital and expanding Army Air Defense training program, Ryan Aeronautical Company operates and maintains, under Army supervision, a highly efficient target service. With reusability, the keynote of Fire Bee efficiency, technicians prepare the birds for their next flight. Fire Bee targets are powered by the Continental J69 T29 jet engine, which develops 1,700 pounds of thrust. Highly reliable, these engines make flight after flight in the durable Fire Bee targets. Each of the many electronic systems in the Fire Bee receives an expert checkout prior to installation in the target. Fire Bee has space to carry a variety of augmentation and scoring systems. 
since 1964, more than 300 Fire B, Tow B flights have been flown with better than 94% reliability. Fire B has steadily increased its service life to an average of 19 flights per target, a credit to its high reliability in performance. Roger, minus two minutes. This short rail launcher supports the mission-ready Fire Bee. Stand by. On standby, the Fire Bee awaits the missile battery's call for target. Okay, we have combustion. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, launch. All was clear. How uh, sweet it is. This remote control pilotless jet target is acquired by the remote control operator at launch. The remote controller flies the target to the prescribed point on the range at the proper altitude and speed and deploys the Toby target for the waiting missile man. With a successful intercept, Fire B is turned and with his second Toby deployed, makes another presentation to the Red Eye. Mission completed, and Fire B recovery is commanded. Its two-stage parachute system lowers it safely to the desert floor. This speed of retrieval makes the Army Fire Bee target truly effective and responsive to the accelerated pace of Army missile training. This is the Pena Beach Range, Panama Canal Zone. Missile men of the Army's Southern Command prepare to fire their annual service practice. Airlifted in from the United States, this Ryan Field Service team readies the Fire Bee targets for flight. Completely equipped to operate under rugged field conditions, this team provides launch, remote control and tracking, recovery and retrieval, and necessary ground equipment to perform total target services. This highly successful operation was conducted under rugged field conditions and proved to be as efficient a target operation as any conducted at a hard site. The Army's air mobile target operations were also expanded to Okinawa, Taiwan, Korea. All of these target operations supporting Hawk missile annual service practices have been highly effective. There is no aircraft flying or contemplated that cannot be destroyed by U.S. Army weapons. Training the men to fire these weapons successfully is one of our nation's most important defense efforts. Giving essential realism to this vital program is the continuing responsibility of Army's variable speed, multi-purpose training targets, the Fire Bee.